Hey you, this is Vicki Jo, and this is a little primer I put together that I'm calling the Introversion Extroversion Primer. There's lots of confusion around this particular dimension of type, and this may contribute some clarity. Let me see if I can illuminate some things for you. By now, everyone is surely familiar with the terms introvert and extrovert. These are household words. The common definition of extrovert is that they're outgoing, the life of the party with hundreds of friends, and introverts are reclusive, friendless, stay-at-home wallflowers. And because of these cliches, introversion is sometimes confused with maladjusted in our culture. Extroversion is starting to become confused with obnoxious. However, these stereotypes do not match what Carl Jung intended when he invented the terms. We typically think of introverted and extroverted kinds of people, and yet, Jung wrote, there are no introverts and extroverts, pure and simple, but only introverted and extroverted function types. He said that extroversion and introversion are not mutually exclusive and will be self-balancing or compensating through the conscious and unconscious. We are each born with a natural balance of the two. In psychological types, introversion and extroversion are described as two ways of dealing with situations. Extroversion is how we meet the outer world, and introversion is how we meet our inner world. Let me illustrate them this way. Cognition is typically triggered by an object, something that exists in external reality. So here we show the object triggering a reaction in the person, and if it stimulates an extroverted process, it causes energy and attention to flow outward toward it. The object is considered attractive and interesting, so the extroverted process is getting in relationship with it and will flow continuous energy outwards toward it. It is striving to merge with the object and the outer world. Now here's the illustration demonstrating introversion. Same object triggers cognition in the person, if it stimulates an introverted process, it causes energy and attention to flow inward as a result. The introverted process has disconnected, ended its relationship with that object in the outer world, and is now flowing energy inwards, because this process is trying to match something that is within. The subject, or psychic reality, is more important. Because it's introverted, Energy moves continuously toward this internal experience. It's continually processing what we think or feel about that thing in the outer world, matching it against an internal ideal we hold inside. So these are the two events trying to happen. We're either trying to merge with an outer experience, or we're trying to match an event to an inner experience. Merge and match. And we all do both of them. So let's say we have two people watching a sunset at the beach together. And one of them's using an extroverted process, and one's using an introverted process. One of them says aloud, Wow! What a sunset! Don't you just feel like you're a part of the universe at times like this? Huh? Don't you? This person, using the extroverted process, wants to merge with the sunset and even with the other person and experience this sunset as if they are all one thing. Now this other guy's words will bubble up into a thought. He's not speaking aloud. Another day ends in a blaze of glory. It gives me hope that tomorrow will be even better. So this person using the introverted process stops looking at the sunset, stops paying attention to the other guy, and puts his attention inside to consider what he thinks or feels about this whole sunset experience. Now there is a seduction here I want to warn you about. Whether something is extroverted or introverted is often defined literally by whether something is spoken aloud or not. Do not be deceived that all extroverted processes must be expressed outwardly in order to be extroverted, and that all introverted processes must be held inside in order to be introverted. That's a common misunderstanding. Jungian doctor John Beebe says, There is an introverted way to meet the external world, 
and an extroverted way to meet the internal world. He says, I know talkative introverts. I know people who meet the outer world in an introverted way. I know people who meet the inner world in an extroverted way. All these things we think we know about introverts and extroverts, that ain't what it is. So let's illustrate his concept. One guy says aloud, Dude, this reminds me of my trip to Maui. He's not present in the moment. He's not flowing energy to the outer world. He's flowing energy into an internal memory he has of a trip to Maui. Nevertheless, he's speaking it outwardly, so you might think he's extroverting. As a technicality, he's still utilizing an introverted process. And his companion is thinking silently to himself, Check out those amazing waves. <laughs> this guy's using an extroverted process, but he's not speaking it aloud. He's keeping those thoughts to himself. Nevertheless, he is using an extroverted process. Now, this is the point where most people sit up and go, What? So, let me rock your world with some more examples. Now, the guy says aloud, Man, I could totally see myself surfing at this beach. He has a vision of himself, out there in the water, having a good time. He's using an introverted process, articulating his vision aloud. And his friend is thinking silently to himself, There are so many ways to get the Earth's pollution problem cleaned up. What if... Now, I made up a story for myself that there's litter on the beach or in the ocean or something, and he's seeing this litter and feels inspired to do something about it. So he's actually merging with this problem in the outer world, an extroverted process. Here, one of them is saying, so is that a joke or some kind of pickup line? Another introverted process being used to define this situation he's in. And his companion's thinking, hmm, we'd better get going or we'll be late. He's using an extroverted process, even though he's not speaking the words aloud. Next, we have our friend saying, Mother Nature is very important to me, pal. Again, an introverted process as he reveals his values aloud. His companion is thinking silently, Will he like it if I sing happy birthday to him? And again, is using an extroverted process despite not sharing it aloud. So there's lots to explore around how introverts go about meeting their environment. And how extroverts go about meeting their unconscious. In particular, introversion is not very well understood yet, and introversion and extroversion differences often provoke hostility. Jung has said the extroverted and introverted functions are, quote, incessantly at war. And, since we all use both introverted and extroverted functions, that battle may even rage within the same individual. And there you have it. I believe that sheds a different light on introversion and extroversion, and I hope it contributes to your understanding of these two attitudes. Or, by now you may be completely lost and have no idea what this has to do with the MBTI or how it's related to type. Perhaps you even wonder which processes you introvert or extrovert. If so, please consider this an invitation to enroll in my full-length virtual workshop titled Can You Spot It? Recognizing the Eight Cognitive Processes. Just like this presentation you've been watching, the program is designed to help you answer these very questions by teaching you how to identify the functions of type as they are occurring in the environment around you. It features cutting-edge content you can't find anywhere else. Furthermore, to the best of my knowledge, it's the only online program of its kind available. I'm Vicki Jo, and I've been using type professionally now for, whew, 14 years. I'm excited about this workshop because I created the program that I always wish someone would offer me. And you can take the entire self-paced workshop from the familiar environment of your own computer desktop. To learn more, please visit my website, virtualtypeworkshops.com. 
I look forward to meeting you on that program soon.